Thousands of people are out of their homes from the flooding in South Carolina. Good evening. I'm Calvin Snake. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Today we wanted to dig deeper into insurance policies. Many people who don't live in a designated floodplain decide to go without flood insurance because it costs more. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden shows us now what that means for you. Betsy. Well, Calvin and Latricia, South Carolina has seen more sun today than it has in a week, but the state continues to see millions of dollars worth of damage, and it's a sad reminder to us about the importance of considering flood insurance. Thousands of homes, entire towns in South Carolina have flooded, and now residents are being warned flooding could continue downstream. So we wanted to learn more about flood insurance. I would say um, out of all of my clients, 99% do not buy flood insurance unless they're being required to by their home mortgage company. But that doesn't mean they should forget it. Vicki Champion, who is the owner of North Shore Insurance, says that 30% of homes that flood each year are not in a high-risk flood zone. Just a few inches of water can be thousands of dollars of damage. So I went to meet with someone who deals with the damage, Bob Cuthbertson with SurfPro. He walked me through the post-flood cleanup process. So you make sure you get the source stopped first, and then we extract. You can only extract about 70% of moisture when a place has been flooded. So then you have to use high velocity air movers, fans, or dehumidifiers uh, and dehumidifiers uh, to get the water out of the structure and then pull the water that you got out of the structure out of the air. The damage can be costly. And Bob says the average claim in Tennessee over the past five years is $49,000. And the average claim in Georgia is 21,000. Now coming up at 6, hear what Bob and his crew at SurPro sent to South Carolina. You'll find out it's not just rescue workers who have gone to help. Calvin? Thanks, Betsy.